Hi guys and welcome back to the Wolf Scope. And today we've got a Burnley versus Wolves match reaction. And I'm just going to start off saying yeah how it is. We are not good enough for Europe. As much as fans don't want to hear it, as much as I don't like to say it, we are not good enough for Europe and we don't deserve to get it this season. And I feel like unless we've got some serious foss and back in the summer, which you know we can hope for, but it's you'd say it's unrealistic given the last few transfer windows. We wouldn't be ready for Europa League. You know, Conference League, I think we could do all right in. But even still, I think there are other teams that are above us currently that deserve it more than us and that have been better than us this season, apart from United. United don't United don't deserve it. They, they've been utterly tragic. And if you look at their team, they should be up with top four. But we're here to talk about Wolves um, and how bad that game was, really. Um, we seem to be turning into Spurs recently. Just whenever we've got an opportunity to kick on and really get into the European places we seem to shy away play a really strange team and lose the game and then uh, and then suddenly everyone's like oh you know Europe's over and then come the next week results go away again and everyone says oh we win this and you know Europe's back on and then we lose and it's just coming around full circle I think it's time to accept that we're not going to get that this is a transition season we need backing from Fossen in the summer um, and we need backing for Bruno. And in terms of Bruno, I I like him. I think he's done good, but he needs to. He, is 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 what whatever he's doing with the attackers on the training pitch is slightly questionable because th they don't look like they've got enough chemistry with each other. They look as if you know th th they're not willing. They don't, they don't trust each other. They've not got any confidence in finishing, especially Raul Jimenez and Fabio Silva and even Juan Guichan, all three that started today, look like they have no confidence in finishing. The link-up play is good, you know, we get into the space um, and as soon as as soon as soon we get in front of the goal, we seem to just say, no, we're going to try and score a tap-in because we have no confidence that our other, other players can, can put it in the back of the net. Um, with, with us, it's just goal and goal really, isn't it? You know, we, well, when you go one nil down, you know the only exception being Villa. We've you know we've only picked up three points from losing positions um, th this season. That was against Villa, and that was a freak game. You know w when we go one nil down, you can almost bet your house um, that Wolves aren't going to come back or even get a draw from that game. So it's just disappointing. Um, and as soon as we went one nil down again, I, I just knew we weren't going to score because we we don't look inspiring. Um, and as my only critique of Bruno really is his substitutions. Um, because sometimes I just don't understand why. Johnny Otto and Fabio Silva are our two best players on the pitch. Juan Guichard and Raul Jimenez, really uninspiring. Didn't do much today, didn't have much support in fairness, but again, just looked like they weren't on the same wavelength. And he brings off Fabio, who looks as if, our, who looks as if he's our most willing runner. Brings on Neto. Um, in a in an unfamiliar sort of game for him, he like he likes games with his space. I think someone like Shaquinho should have come on as well because Francisco Trincao just showed no ambition, barely touched the ball. Uh, I I could go on forever about players that didn't play well. We got overrun in the midfield. That's partly because of Neves, uh, Matinho. He couldn't get hold of the game because at the end of the day, he is thirty five, thirty six years old. As much as he is a class act, he's one of the best players to ever play for Wolves. He can't run it on his own. And when Dendonka is just not not there, like today, um, he just can't do anything. That that's the end of my little start of the video rant about how we're just not good enough for Europe. Um, and yeah, let's move on to some player ratings. In terms of player ratings, you know it's it's difficult one, especially for someone like Saar because he he made he made some good saves. He didn't really have much involvement in the game. Not much he could do about the. Um, about the goal, it was just a tap in really, more the defender's fault. But he wasn't superb either. He didn't command his box like he sometimes does, and we didn't play those long pumping forward balls as much as he sometimes does, uh, which, which really help us to go forward. So I'm going to give him a six. As for the back three, Sace, Cody, uh, Bolly. Bolly was good actually. I, I did think Bolly was good, so I give him a seven. He was a colossus. He was always winning the balls back. Sace looked non non existent really. Um, he just didn't get involved in the game. Him and Cody, you could tell they hadn't played with each other in a long time. There were passes going astray, you know, lot, lot, miscommunications in the defence. Um, so I'll give them both sixes. No, I'll give Cody a six, Sace a five, because I didn't think Sace was particularly bad today. Semedo, he was all right. He didn't do anything particularly bad. He had a good shot that was saved by Nick Pope really, really well. Um, so I'll give him a six. Johnny, I'd say probably the best player on the pitch. Um, and yeah, he, he was just really, really good today. 
you know, looking like classic Johnny back on that left-hand side. So I'm going to give him a 7 because I don't think... I mean, if we'd have won, I'd probably, probably get an 8 or a 9, but I'm not in the mood to give people 8s or 9s today. Matinho, 6. Dendonka, 5. Couldn't get hold of the game. Dendonka was pretty much non-existent. As for the front three, I'd give Fabio a 7 because I, I thought Fabio played really well today. He was linking up the play brilliantly. Jimenez, a 6 because he did... Again, he was linking up it all right, but he, he just seems too greedy sometimes, Jimenez. I don't want to say it, but I think it is probably time for him to move him on because as much as I love him, as much as Wolves love him, as much as he's done for the club, and he's, as much as he's one of the greatest strikers to play for Wolves, he he, he he doesn't look the same. After that injury, you know, you can't blame him. And he's ageing as well, so I think it's the perfect time to move him on and you could still get 15, 20 million odd pounds for him, maybe go to the MLS. You've seen links with him in the Bundesliga. And I think you do really well there, a league that's less quick, less physical, a perfect league for... A player like him who's, you know, starting to slow down a little bit more. So, something like that. I think I think that would be a good move for him. But, yeah, we definitely need a striker. We just look void of anything. I can't remember if I've done... I've done Fabio. I've done Raul. Huang, six. No. No, Huang, five. First half, he was good. No, no, sorry. Five's too harsh. Six. Um, first half, he was good. Nice link-up play. First 20 minutes. You know, looked pretty promising. You know, some Ronaldo chops. Some skills. Um, second half, nothing. Had a nice volley right at the end, straight to Nick Pope's hands, really. Nothing doing. As for the two substitutes, um, I think it was Francisco Trincao and Pedro Neto. Trincao offered nothing, um, but I'll give him an NA because I don't think he was on quite long enough to make an impact. But even still, he he, 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 did, not, he did not offer anything, did he? And Neto tried to get forward. You know, he always shows passion, always aggressive, always getting in there, but... You know, he, he needs other people to do that with him. So you can, there's, a, there's only so far you can go with that. So I'll give him a six. Um, but yeah, that rounds up my player ratings. Um, we sorely missed Ruben Neves today. Let's move on to my man of the match from a Wolves point of view, which I don't really want to do. Uh, but, you know, we have to do it every time. So, yeah. As for a man of the match, um, we, I mean, 90% 90, 90 of them were terrible today. Uh, just uninspiring, nothing going forward, looked like they never played together, no chemistry, couldn't get hold of the ball in the midfield, the list goes on, but I'll just give it to Johnny, because at the end of the day, he is still coming back from an injury, uh, a very serious injury, two ACLs, back to back, so you have to give it to him, he was our best player on the pitch today, linking up the play really well, getting up the, the line, and he made, I think it was bef just before this goal, or maybe just after, he made a brilliant covering tackle on Mate Vidra, who was through on goal pretty much, um, because he was going to be, busy, you know, he'd beat him Willie Bolly, um, so he, he was definitely our best player, Player, but other than that, no one other than Fabio Silva, who I thought was quite good. I may have been a bit too harsh, but I just thought that was absolutely uh, shocking today. Um, let me know if you agree down in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy. Uh, like the video, and I'll see you next time.